Guys, what's going on? It's Ben Rainey here, and today I'm gonna to answer the question that every DJ seems to be asking at the minute, and that is, how do we successfully achieve a good quality live stream on social media? So you may have seen, or you may not, over the last week, I've been going live on various platforms at various times, and I've been using different techniques and different methods. Uh, some of them have had you know, graphics over the top of them. Some of them have had nothing. Some of them have been shot on my Sony 4K camera, what I'm shooting now. Some of them have been shot on my iPhone. And I've come to a conclusion in one week that what matters the most is the audio quality, the lighting, and the interaction. The video quality is not the most important factor, believe it or not. And that's coming from someone that really does care about the quality of video. Um, I've watched, I've tested, and I've done my homework on what I think's working, and here is the solution. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna tell you my setup and how I'm operating. I've got the Pioneer XZ, the new controller. I got this because it's got the full-size jog wheels. It's got record box Serato USB capability. Um, I usually play off USBs. I play a lot of house music, so I don't really need to be like on a laptop that much. But as I'm live streaming, what I'm doing is I'm plugging my laptop into record box, which I got free with the controller. I've never used it before. And what I'm doing is I'm managing my library on the laptop. I'm keeping it on the laptop plugging it in and using it as if it was a USB stick. So you can literally use like the screen to go through your folders. You don't have to touch the laptop. You just use it like a USB. It just saves me exporting and plugging USBs in, waiting for them to load. And also it benefits me because I can actually record the mix onto my laptop if I want to put it on SoundCloud at a later date. So if you've got a controller, I really recommend you try and record it. If, you're going, if you know if you're going through a laptop, you can usually record it regardless of your stream. So that's just a little tip for you. Okay, so the next thing that I've got is the Rocket 5 monitors and I've got the Sennheiser HD25 headphones. These really don't matter. If I'm honest, you can literally use your headphones to do these mixes. If you're in a house with your family, your girlfriend, you know, you've got neighbors, like most people have, just do it in your headphones because what I'm gonna to explain to you in a minute about how we actually get the good sound quality, you'll soon realize that you don't need loud music on to get that sound quality. Okay, so on to one of the most important factors, and that is lighting. I'm using the newer NL480 LED panels, which you can see behind me, and I've got one in front of me on my face now, so you can see me. These are, you know, I think there's around 75 pound each on Amazon, which isn't the cheapest. I do think you can get a lot cheaper than that, but obviously, as I've explained, I do do videography for an income, so I needed some, you know, some good quality lighting, and to be honest, these are absolutely phenomenal. I power them through the mains, but I can also battery power them. I've got the batteries to do that. Um, but for anyone that's starting up, I recommend you just put in LED light into Amazon. You get the cheapest one for 20 pound, put it on a little tripod next to your camera and you're good to go. Okay, so now we're onto the video. And as you can see behind me, I'm using the iPhone 10 XS Max. The reason I'm using this is because like I say, the iPhone knocks out some great video footage and more than anything, what people forgetting, you can only stream at a maximum of 1080 in most cases. On Facebook, I'm pretty sure it's 720, which is not even full HD. And when I watch my streams back at 7, 20 and 1080 can I see the difference unless I'm pixel peeping not really are you gonna see the difference no is most viewers that know nothing about video footage gonna know not at all like I say good lighting will make that footage look better and I'll leave some example footage over the top of this video now so you can see what my videos look like shot on the iPhone okay so in terms of tripods and stands I'm just using cheap Manfrotto action tripods which it really doesn't matter as long as the base isn't shaking through the ground and you're not having it that loud that it's moving you're going to get a stable stream and I wouldn't worry too much about that okay so on to the all important question the audio quality this is something I had a lot a lot of difficulty with throughout the week because I, I was naive and I didn't really understand it. I thought I did and I didn't. Um, so I did my research, I asked a lot of people, shout out to the guys that helped me. Um, I can't really think of everyone off the top of my head. DJ Adam H, he's helped me a lot if anybody knows who he is. DJ Holland who works with Crossfader, he gave me some good advice. And uh, Charles Summers gave me some great advice. Another DJ, um, Dean Smith, another DJ, gave me some really good advice. And my good friend Rob Crouch, DJ Rob Crouch, um, he gave me some awesome advice to be honest and that's what's amazing about this at the minute is everyone seems to be coming together and helping each other and um, so what I'm doing is basically just compiling everything I've learned and been told to give to you guys and um, it is all out there in different places but I think a lot of tutorials go very deep and technical whereas for me I'm not a technical person at all I've just literally told you the equipment I've got and I'm going to tell you how I use it you can make that work for you you can see if you think it's worth getting you can see if you think it's talking 
shit. Um, but this is what's working for me. And if you've seen my live streams, I'm getting great reactions. I'm getting great interaction. My social media is growing. You know, people are locking in from all over. I'm getting messages of key workers and um, saying I'm getting them through the shifts. And like I say, my, my streams and my views are going up. So it seems to be working for me. So I'd just like to give it to you guys today. Okay, so onto the audio, you're going to need three different cables to make this work. The first cable you're going to need is only if you've got a newer iPhone than I think the iPhone 7. Uh, I've got the iPhone 10 Max, so I need it. And that is this little lightning adapter. And this is just to get the old um, audio jack into the new lightning adapter. Because for some reason, Apple decided to remove them. And I really don't know why, because that was one of the best features. Then you're going to need this TRS adapter. I've got this SC4 by Rode, I do believe it's called. And these are about eight pound on Amazon. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna put all the links in below. And um, it just converts the signal to work. That's all I know. Um, and that's all you need to know, really. And then the last thing that you're gonna need is the old famous RCA, red and white cables. Is that gonna get in focus there? No, it's tracking my face. Okay, so we know what cables we need and we've got the cables. Now it's time to show you how to connect them from the decks to your phone. So the first thing you need to do is get the red and white cable, which I've shown you, and you need to get that into your master output on the back of your decks. Most controllers and mixers will have these. I don't know any of that dirt off the top of my head. Um, so you go from red and white, as you can see on mine, it says master two. Um, my master one is actually going to my speakers. Um, so I'm going master red and white here, and then we're gonna go over to the phone and we're gonna plug in at the other side. Okay, so we've got the audio jack cable coming out of our RCA master outputs from the decks, and we're stood waggling it about because we don't know what to do because our iPhone doesn't have the right connector for it. So we're stood here like a lemon thinking, how am I getting this into my iPhone? So like I say, we've got two adapters. The first one is to make this output into an input for the iPhone. So we're gonna connect that adapter like that, the SC4. And then the next thing we're gonna do is to get this into our iPhone because we don't have the input for this jack anymore is we're gonna use the white adapter. We're gonna come in here, boom. As you can see, we have got the RCA cable out of the master coming into the SC4, which converts it into an input for the iPhone. And then we go into the lightning. Boom, just like that. So the audio is now technically set up. Next thing I'm gonna explain how to get your levels right and how I did it. Okay, so now we're behind the decks and the visuals are all set up, ready to go. As you can see, the lighting's really working. It's pitch black outside, it's nighttime. Um, the iPhone's recording. I'm gonna to switch to the iPhone recording now so you can see exactly what it's gonna look like on the iPhone recording, streamed back. And now it's time to get the audio right. Got all the cables in, we're good to go. I've got my laptop here, my decks are ready. Everything's good. My master's at nothing, my master's blasting out nothing. So let's get the audio right. First step is do a test. Do a test stream just to yourself. This is what I do every time, and it can take five minutes, but it's worth it. So what I do is, for example, if I'm going live on Facebook, I hit that live button on my phone, I go live, but on the settings of when I go live, it gives you the option of who you want to send that video to. So I share that video with only me. And this is a great tip. I share it with only me. I jump on my laptop or I jump on my iPad. I've got my iPad to my left, my laptop to my right for my streams, just so I can interact with people. Uh, what I do is I get straight on Facebook on my laptop, I check the levels and I gradually bring up the master. As Soon as it sounds good, that's where my master's sticking. It's not going any louder than that. My gains are always gonna stay right down the middle. They're gonna hit the ambers on the gains, no louder than that. If you're going into the reg, you're clipping anyway, no good. Um, and then, like I say, I set my master at whatever that is. Nine times out of 10, depending on what speakers you've got, that's gonna be really low and really quiet. And this is where I got a bit confused because it was coming out of my speakers really quiet, but on my, on my phone, it sounded amazing. That's because the phone audio running in is 25 decibels louder than what is coming out of here due to the crossover from line to microphone. Um, bit of technical jargon, doesn't really make sense. Don't worry about it. In a nutshell, it's gonna go into your phone a lot hotter than it's gonna come out of here. So bear that in mind, and that's why your output on your decks has got to be really, really low. This is one thing I learned this week. So you've got your audio so sounding right on here. You've got it sounding right on here. If it's really low, you can turn your speakers up on the back. And more than anything, if people are in bed, you know, if it's late at night, if it's weekend, past 11 o'clock, you know, you can't really blast music out, use your headphones. I have little headphone raves in this studio all the time. I rarely go loud. If I do, I turn them back, back of the speakers up, but nine times out of 10, I wanna be able to, you know, dance in my headphones, 
mixing my headphones and then obviously when I take them off, I want that space to go, right, I'm gonna check the feed, I'm gonna check the comments on social media, so I've actually got a bit of headspace because if it was blaring out loud out of here, I wouldn't be able to concentrate on the fact that I'm live and stuff because it is quite nerve wracking, it is quite intense. Even though you're on your own, you know, you see the comments coming through and you see that your friends, your family, your mum, your dad, your grandma's logged in and it is really, really intense. So I definitely recommend, you know, you get that all boxed off so your audio is quiet, it's sounding good on your phone and your headphones are pretty loud so you've got the balance. Um, put your headphones on, do your mixes, get in the groove, take your headphones off, have a little breather, check the comments and then that leads me to my last and final point and that is interaction with the crowd. Um, this is something I started testing this week and my numbers shot through the roof. Um, it's something that not all DJs are gonna wanna do. It's something that I was a bit skeptical about doing because I hate the sound of my own voice. And that is obviously gonna be picking up this bad boy, the microphone. Something that we all hate doing, but I guarantee you now, the minute you pick this microphone up on your streams, the views will go up, the interaction will fly through the roof. I did a live stream with no microphone last week. And don't get me wrong, people appreciated the music, people liked what I was doing. But the minute I picked up the mic and I was just, I was just literally on the mic going, guys, what's going on? Can anybody hear me? Is, every, is anybody with me? Who's locked in? Who's listening? I can't see. Um, next thing you know, everyone's commenting, yes, I'm listening from Leeds. I'm listening from Hull. I'm listening from London. I'm listening from America. So then I'm reading through the comments and obviously by this point, I'm naturally getting excited and I'm going, oh, wow, shout out to so-and-so who's here. And it was a bit scruffy, you know what I mean? I wasn't, I wasn't audibly putting my club microphone voice on like we all do in the club, like, hey guys, party, 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 like whatever. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I was just doing, I was just talking like I would, I would now and I was on my iPad here and I'm going, guys, what's going on? We've got Ryan locked in from America. We've got Danielle in Newcastle. We've got my auntie Sue in Hull. My cousin's having a rave at home. Do you know what I mean? I was just doing all these general normal interactions. I wasn't overthinking it. I wasn't letting my anxiety get the better of me. I was just doing me being me and honestly I was just saying to people please share it if you're listening people were sharing it my views were going up hundreds 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 and um, I think we capped at about a thousand my likes on my page were going up on Facebook and that was the best stream and that was obviously what made me do this video because I thought I think I've nailed it now I've ran it through my laptop on a system called OBS if anybody's heard of that um, what that is basically it allows you to plug your phone in your audio you can plug everything in, you can run it, but the problem is you've got to run it as you're streaming. Um, and that's when my head started melting. I wasn't concentrating on what matters the most, and that was the music and the sounds. I was thinking about the visuals too much, um, getting my logo on there, getting it moving around. And I actually didn't enjoy the stream because I was so sweaty and stressed about that. I think when you go through your phone and you realize you get the audio right and the lighting looks good, that's all that matters. People are gonna open it, they're gonna hear it good. Um, my, do my, my ultimate don'ts, in this situation i don't just plug your phone in and prop it up against the the wall um because we don't want to hear the room noise we don't want to hear the the echoes and the horrible reverbs from the room i'm in a massive room here i've got three rooms around me um and i've got a massive room literally i'm in a big space and um, so if i'm echoing that around it's going to sound horrible it's not going to be clean audio second one is don't mix with your back to the camera don't just show your back while you're mixing because People wanna see you. I think what's really doing me well in my streams, and people might laugh at me doing it, is my dancing. I dance like an absolute goon, and I don't care because do you know what, that's what's, that's me. That's not me, you know, that's not me playing up. That's what I do in a club. I dance because I love the music that I play. Um, really, really do love the music that I play, and I think that shows in my, in my mixes, and that's what a lot of the feedback's been. It's like, the joint, you feel like you're joining in with me when I'm mixing, um, and that's what I pride myself on. So like I say, get the lighting right, then get the audio right, and then get the interaction and the music right. Um, talking about music, this is something I saw, um, I think it was either, it was Ryan Blythe, um, if anybody knows Ryan Blythe, he had the hit, Show Me. He's had, he's had loads of hits now anyway, so. Ryan Blythe posted on Facebook saying, Tech House on live streams is dead. Um, and it made me think, because I've, I've, I've been playing really vocal, kind of groovy disco stuff, and it's been going down really well. Um, and I thought, you know what, he's, he's right actually, because I, I couldn't imagine playing tech on a stream, because I think repetitive stuff, you know, if you're on your phone, you need to hear melodies, you need to hear vocals, you don't want to just hear a, a kick. A lot of people are watching on the phone, so you can have all your fancy cameras, you can have your logos, but when it comes down to it, if you're watching it on your phone, it's going to be that big, and it's not going to be like, club sound system loud, it's just gonna be coming out your, your phone at a decent level. So you just need to get that audio sounding good. 
um, to a certain standard in the visuals. Um, and in terms of music choice and interaction, you know, pick the mic up when you feel it's right. Don't obviously cut the music out every 30 seconds. What I usually do is mix two or three songs. As I'm mixing, in between mixes, I'll check the comments, make a mental note. Oh, so-and-so said that, so-and-so said that on YouTube, Twitter, whatever. And then I'll obviously log in. Hi, guys. Yeah, I've seen that you've said that, blah, blah, blah. And I'll talk to people directly. And that's what seems to be really engaging for me. Um, other people are doing it differently. You know, some people are just mixing for an hour and not saying anything. Um, but ultimately, it's about three things. The audio, the lighting, and the interaction. The video can be done on an iPhone, it can be done on pretty much anything. To be honest, once you've got the lighting right, the video just looks better, and a lot of people have said this. Okay, so that about wraps up my video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I haven't babbled on too much. Like I say, I try and keep it as little technical as I can because I'm not really a technical kind of guy. I'm more of a hands-on, let's, let's get it done, let's get it working kind of guy. So like I say, I've just used trial and error. I've got it how I think it's working best. I've got the interaction to a really good level. And like I say, three simple things, audio, lighting, interaction, and all the links to the equipment that I use will be in the description. You can message me, you can ask me questions, you can leave a comment and ask me a question and I'll give you as much advice as I can. Um, anybody that's wondering about the more complicated streams like the, the logos and the overlays and stuff, that is all doable um, and that is using software called OBS um, on laptops. Like I say, for me, it was just overkill taken away from my actual stream. I'd only recommend doing that if you've got somebody else that can manage that for you while you're mixing. Um, I haven't because I'm in lockdown and I've got no one around me, um, obviously except my family, but I don't trust my mum and dad to do that for me. So I'm just keeping it simple and it seems to be working the most effective. Hope you've enjoyed the video guys and if you like it, don't forget to share it, subscribe and drop me a comment. Thank you ever so much.